Hey, Danielle. So I spoke to your dad, Gavin, there about the uh, terrain. Uh, he mentioned about the price point that we were trying to hit, you know, kind of that high 30s um, area. Uh, wouldn't be able to quite get there on the Denali, but I do have this SLT uh, in the new that would probably be able to get there. Um, so just kind of wanted to send you a little video here and see, see what your thoughts on it were. Do kind of a nice little walk around here. It's got the LED signature surround lighting. This one here will have the 18 inch rims, or sorry, 19 inch rims, my apologies. Passive entry on all four doors there, of course. Look in the back seat there, so it's got that nice kind of copper stitching there. And then a couple of USB ports, and then as well as a three prong plug-in in the back there as well for plugging in laptops, that sort of thing. backup camera does have the uh, little storage area underneath here where your spare tire will go and then as well as you can keep like washer fluid and that sort of stuff there easy lower seats with a flat loading surface so when you're loading stuff into the butt back there uh, nice and easy you're not gonna catch on the lip or anything like that coming around into the driver's seat here. So it does have the memory seats, uh, your height control for your tailgate. This one does have the heated steering wheel as well as heated seats in the front here. The all wheel drive disconnect, so you can run it as a true uh, two wheel drive in the summertime. Lane departure warning, and then as well as uh, forward collision alert as well. Eight inch touch screen does have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. So when you plug your phone into the USB port, any of your compatible apps will come up on the touch screen there. And your integrated garage door openers, a uh, sunglass holder up there. But uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to see your initial thoughts on this one here and see what you think.